Today we're going to uh, change improper fractions to mixed numbers. We're going to change an improper fraction to a mixed number. Okay. Well, before we get started, let's talk about what these two things are and what they look like. Okay. All right. An improper fraction. Um, will look like this. These are all improper fractions, okay? Why are they improper fractions? Because if you notice, the numerators are larger than the denominator. 10 is larger than 7. 6 is larger than 1. 8 is larger than 6. And 20 is larger than 4. Okay? And then we have mixed numbers. Mixed numbers, they look like this. If you know, notice about mixed numbers, mixed numbers consists of a whole number and a fraction. You have a whole number and a fraction. You have a whole number and a fraction. But if you notice in this one, you have a whole number with an improper fraction, okay? So, um, what we want to do, we're going to make these fractions look like these fractions, okay? I'm going to make this, I'm going to turn these fractions into these fractions, okay? All right. So, let's start out with um, 10 sevenths, okay? Well, what you want to do, you want to divide. I'm going to say 10 divided by 7. That'll go in there one time. Subtract. Okay. With a remainder of 3. This number right here is going to be my whole number. This number is going to be my numerator. And this number right here is going to be my denominator. Okay. All right. So my whole number is going to be 1. My numerator is going to, I'm going to write a, write a fraction bar. This number is going to be my numerator. And this number is going to be my denominator. Okay. All right. Try another one. 18 elevenths. So I'm going to say 18 divided by 11. 18 divided by 18 will go into, I'm sorry, 11 will go into 18 one time. 1 times 11 is 11. I'm going to subtract, leaving me with a remainder 7. Um, remember, this is my whole number. This is my numerator, and that's my denominator. So, it's going to be 1. Draw my fraction bar. 7 is going to go on the top. 11 is going to go on the bottom. Okay. Let's try another one. 20 uh, sixth. Okay. 
So I'm going to write 20 divided by 6. 6 will go into 20 three times. 3 times 6 is 18. I'm going to subtract, leaving me with a remainder of 2. This is my whole number. This is my numerator. This is my denominator. So, when I draw, I'm going to write my whole number, which is 3. Draw my fraction bar. My 2 goes in the top. My 6 goes in the bottom. Okay. Let me try one more. Let's go 9 halves. So I'm going to say 9 divided by 2. 9 will go into 2 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract. Leave me a remainder of 1. Okay. This is my whole number. This number will go in the top. And this number will go in the bottom. Just in case you didn't understand the numerator and denominator. Okay. So, my whole number is going to be 4. Draw my fraction bar. This is going to go in the top. This is going to go in the bottom. Alright. And now I'd like for you to work one. Let's try... Um, I want you to try 23 fifths. 23 fifths. Okay. You pause the video while you solve that, please. All right. So we're going to divide 23 divided by 5. 5 goes into 23 four times. 4 times 5 is 20. Going to subtract. That will give me 3. So you should have ended up with this being your whole number. That's your big number. Okay. This is going to go on the top, and this is going to be on the bottom. All right, uh, that's it for today. Um, if you have any future comments or concerns, please email me at mathwithmoon.org. Um, well, you can go on my site, mathwithmoon.org, or you can um, email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com. And please have a great day. Bye.